Hi everyone, welcome back. We are here for CC Cycle 1 and this is week 15. Today for math we are learning the metric measurements and they are 10 millimeters equals 1 centimeter, 100 centimeters equals 1 meter, 1,000 meters equals 1 kilometer. And these are metric measurements. So we're doing this to the tune of uh, one little, two little, three little Indians. That is the tune. And again, it goes like this. 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. 100 centimeters equals one meter. 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. These are metric measurements. And that is math. For English, we are continuing on with our helping verbs, and today we start the first three helping verbs. So, I'm going to show you the whole tune for the next six weeks, and then what we'll do is on every week when we introduce that in class, I'm going to just be having that portion of the week saying a little bit louder. So, the tune sounds like this. A helping verb, helping verbs, helping verbs are do, does, did. Has, have, had, may, must, might, should, could, would, and shall, will, can. For do, does, did, we are going to sing that loud. Those will be the first three that we have, so they won't have the rest of them. But I also have decided to add on a couple motions for these helping verbs, and so it'll sound like this. Helping verbs, helping verbs, helping verbs are do, does, did, has, have, had, may, must, might, should, could, would, and shall, will, can. And so that's how it goes all together. This week is just do, does, did, and that is our helping verbs for English. For history, we have tell me about Prince Henry of Portugal. And so we're gonna do hand motions to this as we sing it to the tune that CC provides. And the hand motions that I've come up with are this way. So for 1400, we are going to just do the sign for 14, which is when you Move your hands like that. So in 1400 and Prince Henry. So for that, we're going to make an H. An H looks like this. And we're going to do a sash for Henry, for royalty. So Prince Henry of Portugal. We're going to make a P of Portugal. And he founded. So the, the sign for founded is to take your hand and your fist like this. Founded the school of navigation. Okay. His work advanced European exploration and trade, including the slave trade. So, 1400, Prince Henry of Portugal founded the School of Navigation. His work advanced European we do a, this is an E and you circle it around your temple like this for European or Europe, right? European exploration and trade, including the slave trade. And that is our history for this week. For Latin, we are learning the first declension noun endings. And this is a repeat from the beginning of this year for weeks three and four. And so now we're going to use them again for this week, 15, and next week, week 16. And so we'll use the tune that CC provides. And then up on my board, I'll be drawing just some pronunciation helpers. So ah, and then I will have eyes because it, even though it's AI, it sounds like I. And so we'll do some helpers like that. And also CC Connected, if you look on there, and I think even just if you search online for Latin noun endings, uh, the, they have p pictures that have been made that show you the sound and pronunciation helpers. And so that might be something that would be helpful too if you'd wanna print something like that to put on your board or to use as an example to draw on your board. And then also just to have at home, just as pronunciation helpers for visual learners and those who just don't see that and think of I um, or ah. And so that is just a little tip. You could use those printouts that uh, people have created with pronunciation helps. And then what we're going to do is probably pass around a ball around class as we sing that tune several times as a class. And that's how we'll do Latin. For timeline, we're starting with Japan's, this is the shape of Japan, Japan's isolation. 
Then we have Jamestown and Plymouth Colony founded. The Jamestown colonists were searching for gold. So we're going to do the sign for gold, which we've learned earlier in this year. And then the Plymouth Colony founded was about the pilgrims. So we're going to do a P and then we're going to do the shape of the, the square on the front of their outfits, kind of like the bib. So we're going to do the shape of that. And then the next thing we have is the age of enlightenment. And so the sign for enlightenment, we're going to go like this, like you're thinking. Okay. So this is the age of enlightenment. Then we have Hudson's Bay Company. For Hudson's Bay Company, we're going to do an H just like we did in our history song. So do your H Hudson's. And then for Bay, we're going to take our hand like this, like this is land. And then we're going to make a B, a B. And, um, we're going to do the outline of the land as though this area is water, this area is land, and we're making a B for Bay. So Hudson's Bay Company. Then we have the first great awakening. So you're going to do first and then great awakening. So your eyes are closed and then they're opened. So the first, the first great awakening. And then you have the classical period of the arts. And that was a time of simplicity and order in the arts. And so we're going to do the sign for order. So classical period of the arts. And the last one is the seven years war. And for that, we're going to do the sign for seven. So the seven and then years, you just take your hand like this, like it's one rotation around the sun. So seven years war. And that is all of our emotions for a timeline. For geography, we are going to be using the maps that CC provides. Uh, you could also use this map uh, by Sandra Homemaker on CC Connected. I do like this because it's a little, it's a little more expanded and um, you can color coordinate it at home and it actually shows the Suez Canal as a body of water coming from the Mediterranean Sea. So that's kind of cool too. Uh, but what we will do though, because on our maps, it is a much smaller area that we're looking at and there's a lot more detail. So we are going to be using some cute, uh, not Q-tips, toothpicks to actually point out these areas. And what we'll do is I'm going to play some uh, Middle East style music while we cover our geography and we will point while that music is playing to the different places on our map and I did it to a little chant so we'll chant in the order that they appear on the map not necessarily in the order as they're listed on here so um, it'll be Israel and Gaza Strip Sinai Peninsula Suez Canal and Cairo this is the Middle East. And that kind of goes to the tune that we'll be playing in class of the Middle Eastern style music. And in case you're interested, I just found this on uh, Spotify and it's the Arabian Skies is what it's called. And we're gonna use the tune of the Gates of Arabia. So just using a little Q-tip so that we can get, point out all those different areas. And once again, that's Israel, Gaza Strip, Sinai Peninsula, Suez Canal, and Cairo. This is the Middle East. And that's how we'll cover geography. And for science, we are going to be learning what is each continent's highest mountain. And so in class, I'm going to be using this visual of all the different continents and an idea of where each of those mountains are in those continents. And this is from CC user, CC connected user, Bear Hitch. And I will put that in the description below as well so everybody can have that in case you're interested. And we are gonna sing this to the tune that I originally learned this for. And that is, I like to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. And so the tune sounds like this. Each continent's highest mountain is Everest in Asia, Aconcagua in South America, Denali in North America, Kilimanjaro in Africa, Elbrus in Europe, Kosciuszko in Australia, Vince Massive in Antarctica. And those are all the seven highest mountains. And that is a wrap for all of our memory work. For review this week, we are gonna be playing Jenga, and that's one of our favorite review games. And basically what I do with that is each of the Jenga pieces has on it written 
a subject from our CC memory work. So whether that's Latin, math, English, science, geography, and as each student takes their turn, they'll pull out their Jenga piece and on it they'll read which subject they're gonna review, then we'll answer that question, and then they get to stack it back on top, trying not to let the tower fall over. And uh, in there I mix in some fun things on the block so that every once in a while we have to do something silly like make a silly face or hop like a frog or something like that. And that is all of our memory work and all of week 15. So uh, I will look forward to seeing you all next week for week 16. Bye.